You have a great day. Stop by there, Tillwood. How you doing? What's your name? My name is Pastor Hornsby. Pastor Hornsby. Yeah, and I'm out today praising God. I All think right. it's important that we carry God in our heart and in our soul and in our step. And uh, I'm just enthused to do it, man. Right My on. church is called Angel Works. And what I do is help people. You live on the streets? Yes. You're homeless right now? Yes. But I choose to be because I want to be available in case I have to help somebody, pray for somebody, meet somebody, give somebody a hug, a kiss, encouragement, wipe their tears, whatever I can do for them. Right it's on. important that we spread God's love. I want to say this. One of the things that we have to do is pat ourselves on our back. If because we have successfully accomplished our goals through Father God, our goals and our dreams, our dreams are very important because uh, they have vision and God has things that he wants you to do in life. You have a purpose. It's what the dreams are about. And so what we have to do is give ourselves a pat on the back and then go out there and give as much love as we can. One of the most important things is we're to love one another. And, and that is very important. And that, that's the truth. What that do you think? You know, you know I, I've been coming out here, you know, because I had conviction in my heart because I would go around and I would see, you know, these bums and, and I would just like these other people walk by and say, oh, look at these bums, look at these drug oh. guys. Judging. But 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 the truth is that everybody came from somewhere. That's you right. know, what I mean, we had a job, we had cars, we had homes, we had families. Something drastically in our lives happened, or something you know along the way, you know, lost a job, maybe lost a child, something. Yeah. But we didn't just get here. You know what I mean? We you know the people who were homeless. Something happened. That's you know right. what I mean? That's right. You know, I mean, w whether it be drug addiction, or whatever, but, you know, it's just, so now I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm not judging. Yeah. I'm not that one to judge no more because, Thank like you. I said, you know, somebody, you know, so how, how did you end up on the streets? Well, what, what, what did you do before? What, what was your job? You know, what did you do I as a, a career? I had a job in hospitality right here in San Antonio. I was one of your best waiters, prep cooks, anything in the kitchen. And I saw that, so I created Friends Etc. Casual Elegance to, it was Friends Incorporated. And the, one of the things I did was catering, investment and promotion, job referral, uh, counseling, prayer, landscaping. Oh, wow. You uh, did it all, huh? Yeah, rehabilitation, counseling. Um, I'm an ordained minister. Uh, many things like that. Raise money for the blind and everything. How you doing, buddy? Yeah. And uh, I might need a new shirt and pants today. I'll be at the corner. Hey, that's John. I just met him. Yeah. That's John right there. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Uh, and so today, I'm going to go out and bring up the word. Am I right, brother? You're going you're gonna to clean up? Bring up the word today. Oh, yeah. Bring Amen. The so one of the things that I do is try to promote living right. Living right is doing it doing it God's way. Now, my church is called Angel Works. And what we do is help people through Father God. We ask God to order our steps to the people that are in need. Yeah. And... Where are you from? I'm from Belleville, Illinois, by Chicago. Oh, wow. How'd you end up here? Oh gosh, my dad was in the military and we had a brother or sister born in each, each state that we got stationed. It was awesome. And um, so San Antonio was home base because my parents, parents were from somewhere else but was here. Yeah, and there so, is a lot of military here. A lot yeah. of military. So we come, we always uh, came back here and then would travel and then go to where they're from and travel. Hi, darling, have a fantastic day today. Um, so you say by choice you're homeless, but was there anything drastic or anything that happened in your life that, you know, got you to this point? Yes. I saw this about 50 kids at a bus stop and at a gas station, and they were asking people for money and 
taking and vandalizing and robbing and stealing. And I saw that and said, God, that's, don't do that. That's not how you do it. God, God is not, you're not going to get your blessings that way. Yeah, that's true. Ask God and he'll bring you whatever you need. Hey guys, guys, have a great day today. God bless you. God bless. And um, they said, man, this one guy goes, man, this is not even a God. Get out of here. Get out of here now. Start threatening. I said, dude, who woke you up this morning? I woke up by myself. And, and I said, no, God, he goes, there's not a God. Get out of here. So then I said, that's okay. You'll learn that there's a God. So I start teaching them, feeding them, singing songs with them. They start enjoying it. When are you going to come back? I'll be back tonight. I'll bring some food. Let's pray. I'm not going to pray with you, dude. Get out of here. That's okay. I'm going to pray for you guys anyway. And so I proceeded. And that really touched my heart and really cried because I saw that there was a need to show them how to break their addiction. I had to pray about it. I had to ask God, can I walk with them a mile so I can get their attention to tell them about you? And that's going to probably include having to do some or, drug use. Yeah, did you have, uh, that's all I was going to ask, did you ever have an addiction? Uh, yes, but I was a strong enough kid. I studied it before and I knew it was mind over matter and faith over matter. And to ask God to take that taste, the desire for that, out of my mouth and out of my psyche. And I want to show these people that it is as simple as that. It's the mind over matter. If you decide, yeah, and it is. A lot of it is psychological. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. But like you said, you know, I mean, prayer, God, has a big part of it. You know. Yes, it does. Comes in and he help, He does help. Helps a lot. Yes. He. How you doing, brother? Now you wonder why would God provide drugs for them every day and you know let them do all that stuff. He uses these things as learning blocks to teach you and everybody around you about drugs, about how and what happens to you, how to respond to it so the kids will know better in the future. And so I begin teaching them and using and bringing people to God and was making progress. So I'm still writing the book called how to break your addiction. I just like to teach it in my church. I just like to make a movie. I decided to go to the city council. I, I, I see you really have conviction in your heart. I mean, you're true about this. Yeah. You yeah. know, and, and, and most people just think that, oh, this guy's crazy. He's yeah. out here, you know, but I see. I mean, the tears that uh, bring it to your eyes. You really do have conviction. You really feel this in your heart. This is something that you really truly believe. You know. I wake up every day. It's not my life. It's God's life. Father God, do with it what you want to bring people closer to God. And that's also what do you do? You go and you sweep like in front of. Uh, you order, just clean clean up, huh? Yeah. Order my steps, and I clean the streets because it's uh, God's. Earth. Keep it nice and clean. We're classy people, man. Yeah. We're God's best. We inherited stuff. We're not poor. We're billionaires. If you got God, you got everything. Yeah, that's true. And so I'm out here to show them. Yeah. Out here to prove it, man. And uh, so I'm headed over now to Castorville to pray, give some love, sweet, clean some perseverance, some prosperity, some tranquility, some God, man, some yeah. God's love. Hey, right, that's awesome, man. Hey, I, you. Pre I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I love you, you brother. Hey, love what, you too, man. What's your you, name? You, my name is, uh, they call me Latin Active 209. Latin Active 209. Latin Active 209. Yeah. Uh, you guys hear that YouTube channel? Go to what? Latin, Latin Active, Active 209. 209. Yeah. All right. Hey, I appreciate you, man. God bless you. God bless you. You keep up the good work. Oh, man. yeah. Hey. You too. All right. I love you, brother. Huh? I love you, brother. Love you too, man. Thank you.